Hey guys, this is Mike at iWearShorts.com and today I'm going to be showing you how to build uh, Gear VR apps in Unity. So basically, Unity has some plugins that Oculus has provided uh, that allow you to build straight to Android devices uh, intended for the Gear VR. It will even do things like auto detect when the user's face is up to the Gear VR and open the appropriate app. So I'm going to show you how to do that today. You can see here, I've just started a new project. Um, it's just a blank Unity project. I'm going to name this uh, Android App 4 here for the scene. And uh, I've got some stuff in here. So I'm going to uh, show you how to do this. Keep in mind, there is some setup for this. Uh, if you've never built for an Android app before, you need to make sure that you have the Android SDK as well as the latest JDK, Java Development Kit. And, uh, you know, that's sort of beyond the scope of this tutorial, but go ahead and install that, set up your environment so you can build for Android, and then uh, check out this video. Again, I post uh, these tutorials to iwearshorts.com, so if you head over there, you can get all the links to the resources and things that you need. So. This uh, video tutorial sort of just assumes that you have everything, you've downloaded all the assets, you've been following along on the blog post, and uh, you're ready to go. So anyway, uh, we're going to start off by importing a few things. So one of them is a new custom package, and you can see here this is my Oculus Utilities package. I got this from the Oculus website. So I'm going to go ahead and just import uh, their Utilities package. And they give me some things that we're going to use. Uh, but one of the little bugs that you need to fix real quick is under Plugins, Android, and Assets, there's this Do Not Delete file. Go ahead and actually delete that file. Um, I know it says Don't Delete, but just go ahead and do it. Otherwise, it will cause your apps to crash. So the next thing I'm going to do is I've downloaded an Oculus Signature file. If you don't have this, again, go to my website. You can get a link to the Oculus site where you can register your device. Uh, once you've registered your Android device, Oculus will actually give you this Oculus signature, uh, which you can use in all your projects. So I'm just going to go to my new app under Assets, and then Plugins, Android Assets, where I just deleted that Do Not Delete folder or, or file. I'm going to actually copy my Oculus signature into there. And you can go ahead and reuse this Oculus signature in all your apps. Um, so. Now that I've got my plugins and assets uh, going, let's actually go ahead and create a scene. You might want to fast forward with this if you're uh, well versed in Unity, but I'll do this just for uh, clarity's sake. So uh, in here, I'm going to go ahead and import the environment package. And I actually don't need um, some of this stuff. So uh, I'm just going to get rid of what I don't need here. Um, I don't need water and trees and actually I don't even need a lot of this terrain I just need the last one here sand um, so I'm gonna go ahead and import that and then uh, I'm going to also import uh, an effect so I want to add an anti-aliasing effect um, so I'm gonna just do that right now so that we're done with all of our imports and I don't need a lot of this stuff, I just need image effects. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and import that as well. Now the reason I do this, you'll see in a second, um, we're going to go into our project settings and adjust some things. So under Edit, Project Settings, um, go to, I guess first one is Time. Uh, I'm going to set this frame rate to something that's a little more reasonable, which is 60 frames a second. Um, so the thing to remember with virtual reality is you want a high frame rate um, if you can, because uh, basically your users will end up getting a little woozy and sick if you have a low frame rate. When they move their head around, they'll uh, sort of get a little motion blur. So I'm going to set to 60 frames a second. You probably want to go higher in higher than that for production. Uh, 75 is sort of the minimum and if you can do 120 uh, even better. So the next project settings I'm going to adjust is under player. I'm going to go ahead and click on this little Android over here tab. Uh, make sure that virtual reality is supported and multi-threaded rendering is on. 
and then also adjust your API level. I'm going to set it to the latest API level 21 lollipop. And uh, then I'm going to go ahead to edit project settings and go to quality and show you why. Uh, so here Android is being rendered at simple quality. Um, you can see here this stuff is sort of basic. Uh, it doesn't even include anti-aliasing and I want to fix that. So uh, I've got anti-aliasing disabled here, but I'm actually going to uh, fix that right now. So in my scene, I'm going to click on my main camera. I'm going to press the F key to frame up on it. And then I'm going to actually uh, just delete this main camera. And I don't need it. Um, basically what I'm going to use is under this OVR utility, uh, under prefabs, they give me an OVR camera here. Uh, so I'm going to include that instead. So this is your Oculus Rift camera. If you open this up, you can see uh, under tracking spaces, you've got your left eye, your right eye, and then the center eye is where you're going to be doing some adjustments. So if you remember, I imported image effects. Uh, that has some anti-aliasing algorithms in it. So I'm just going to go ahead and on this center eye camera, uh, I'm going to add a component and image effects, other, anti-aliasing. And uh, this, they give you a bunch of different algorithms here. This FXAA3 console is a good one for gaming. Uh, it gives you pretty good, pretty fast renders and a good anti-aliasing effect. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and have that selected and uh, make sure that that's on. So the next thing I wanna do is actually add some terrain. So. Uh, I'm just going to go to my game object, 3D objects, terrain, and you can see it sticks it in there. Uh, naturally, it's 500 by 500, so I'm going to reduce this. Uh, I'm going to actually position this negative uh, 250 by negative 250, uh, and that should sort of center things on the scene for me. Um, so the next thing, you can see this isn't textured. Uh, I want to maybe add some mountains here so I know what I'm doing. Um, so I'll just sort of collect a new brush here. There's some mountains and then uh, maybe we'll add a cube to this scene uh, just to make it interesting. So uh, under game object, 3D object cube, I'm going to scale this to like 100. Um, and then I'm going to position this uh, maybe opposite uh, of the mountain here. Yeah, something so that we can just sort of see, see some dynamic elements. Uh, so the next thing I'm going to do is grab my directional light, frame in on that real quick, get rid of the rotation uh, for a second and just uh, position this outside my scene so I, cool, I get sort of a cool uh, sunlight effect. So I just want to position this probably way far away from my scene, get around behind it, and aim it uh, down at my scene a little bit. So here's my sun, as it were, and I'm just going to rotate this by X down towards my scene. Um, so that should be sort of lit up. You can see it is. Uh, the other thing that I want to do is add a texture to this. Um, so I imported textures. Uh, so I'm going to add a texture. Uh, that sand that I selected earlier uh, should be good. And you can see, so there's my scene. So if I frame in on my uh, Oculus Ring, you can see sort of what we're gonna, what we should see in our uh, Gear VR is something like this. So, uh, so I've added all of that. I've set up the project settings correctly. I've added my signature under Plugins, Assets, um, Oculus Signature, so I should be able to sign my apps. I'm just gonna go ahead and double check my project settings, my player settings, real quick. Um, so I've got virtual reality supported, multi-threaded rendering is on, and I've selected the latest API level. All right, so now let's go ahead and uh, go into our build settings, select the Android tab, and we're just going to change this to GLES 3.0.
which is a pretty efficient texture compression algorithm. So uh, let's see. Now uh, I'm going to actually, you can't see what I'm doing. I'm just connecting my Android device here. And you can see as soon as I do that, I get this little dialog um, pop up so I know it's connected. So I'm just going to build and run this. Um, we'll name this Android App 4 for the scene. And I may cut out the video here since this build may take a while. I added some textures and effects, and uh, this build may actually take a while. So I'm going to probably compress this video down so you don't have to wait for the build. So um, I should be back momentarily once this thing is done building. Okay, you guys, um, I'm back. So you can see here, my build process is almost complete. Um, it's pushing to the Android device right now. So uh, basically, when you get this and it's done and everything's ready, uh, if there were any errors, you'd be able to see them in the console over here. Um, but it looks like everything worked for me. Uh, these are errors you can ignore. So. Uh, what happens here is on your on your Gear VR device, on your Android device, you should now have a little dialog uh, popped up that says insert to device. It says to open this application, insert your device into your Gear VR. So at this point, you can go ahead and unplug your Android device uh, from your computer and then grab your Gear VR and just pop it in there. And when you put your face up to the Gear VR, you should see a little blue window that says made with unity and uh, shortly thereafter your scene should load and everything should look uh, pretty good so um, I'm noticing on my hillsides and stuff that I've got some uh, anti-aliasing on it it looks pretty decent and uh, it looks like that algorithm is working and there's my scene so Anyway, it's built, it's on the Gear VR headset, and that's how you get started with it. Um, if you have any questions, stop by iwearshorts.com, leave a comment, I will get back to you, and uh, thanks for watching this video tutorial. If you're liking what you're seeing, uh, stop by iwearshorts.com anyway. I do a lot of tutorials on a lot of different things. Uh, I'm a creative technologist, so I'm always jumping around to new technologies, so um, yeah. Follow me on YouTube and check out my site, iwearshorts.com. Thanks.